Hi, I'm uh, Ben Marshall. I'm the technology manager at the uh, National HVDC Centre. So, uh, what is the National HVDC Centre? Well, we are owned and operated by one of the transmission system operators in GB. Uh, that's SSE Networks Transmission. Uh, but we also work on behalf of all of the partners of uh, our centre, which are basically all the other TSOs, that's the electricity system operator, the other transmission companies. We're a bit of an oddity as well because we also enable commercial projects as well. Um, which which we deliver and then reinvest that, 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 that revenue into uh, the centre's development and growth. And one of those kind of key areas of growth, I guess, over time has been the use and uh, growth of the RTDS facilities that we have at the centre. I guess one of the key things we're doing is project de-risking. So we're taking on the analysis of a given project's control and protection beyond the factory acceptance tests and the functional system tests within that. Uh, so it's important for us to mirror the same accuracy, the same perturbances that would be seen at the factory acceptance test, and then take that on into a wider analysis environment encompassing other devices and the system. And we do that by use of the same approach that the vendors use, which is RTDS. The application of real time has really evolved, uh, I guess, over the uh, five and a half years that I've been at the centre. Uh, originally, we were focused on the de risking of the HVDC connection in Cape and Shetland. Very recently, in the last uh, month, it's commissioned its third terminal, and that makes it the first uh, in Europe and indeed worldwide outside of China uh, VSC HVDC multi terminal arrangement. Um, and that's really a design that was intended to be extended. Uh, it was intended to explore multi-vendor and now we're in that world of looking at multi-vendor networks going forward so by the time we're in 2030 we'll start to see the first of those new 525kV 2 gigawatt HVDC bipole systems essentially mirroring the, uh, the North Sea or the Irish Sea um, providing a bootstrap around our system but also starting to connect wind we've got uh, the same thing starting to go between countries where you're picking up wind along the way uh, it's not just a pure interconnector it's becoming something called a multi-purpose interconnector so we've been busy uh, uh, modelling those and we, we, we model that in RTDS and I guess the transformational experience is when operators, whether this is the system operator or operators within organisations, come to the centre or uh, we remotely stream uh, a, a reference model to them and they're able to see in real time the sequences of control, the sequences of energisation, the operational conditions and the trade-offs involved in operating these DC networks for the first time. Um, I think we often lose sight of the, the power of a flight sim, uh, simulator to, I guess, encompass the thoughts in people's heads about how do you manage systems that we're going to have in the future that none of us have got experience actually operating to date. So uh, we are entering a, a brave new world and at the heart of that is confidence simulation of what the vendors are presenting to us and being able to provide the scrutiny of those solutions. The penny has finally dropped that real time is a key part of de-risking. At the centre this is really just the beginning. Uh, we're looking at more than quadrupling the footprint of the centre, building together a, a real digital twin of the whole GB system. Yeah, it's an exciting environment, tons of growth, lots more to come. <laughs>